Alice. Who is it? Who is it? Who are you? Wait, wait, please. You know my voice, don't you? Then you must know who I am. No. No, but there's something. Tell me. I want you to tell me. You of all people. Look, I don't know who you are, but there are people who know where I am. They'll be worried if I'm not back soon. They're going to send... I don't believe it. I had this incredible fantasy about what it would be like to be finally face to face. Alice, look at me. The face is different, but it's still me. Stephen. Stephen's dead. He died years ago in a crash. Yes, I was in that helicopter when it crashed. But I survived. It's me. Stephen, you really... But how? Shh, 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 shh. Don't... Don't talk now. But how? Why? You've got to tell me. I will. Let's go somewhere where it's warm. Build a fire. No, you've got to tell me now. All this time you let me think you were dead. Why? What happened, Stephen? Where were you? I was in Australia. Just come with me. I'll make you understand. But so many years, so much has happened. My life has changed, Stephen. Yes, and it can change again. Look, I know all about your wedding, your marriage to Ray Gordon, the divorce. I know that you adopted Sally. How do you know all that? It doesn't matter. I know that you're engaged to Mac Corey. That doesn't matter either. What makes you think it doesn't? Because I still love you, Alice. And I want you with me. What about what I want? You still love me. I can see it. Okay. Well, I have loved you. For more years than I can say. Stephen, I love... There's no way he could have sat by in some foreign country and not cared about the grief and the loss he caused. All those tears. Why? Can you tell me? I'd like to try. If you give me the chance. Oh, you're the one that's had all the chances. All those years he kept tabs on me. You found out about Ray. You found out about Sally. Why did you just come home and ask me about these things? I'm trying to tell you what happened. Well, I don't want to hear your story. There's no excuse. They can't be. Alice, wait. I'm sorry you came back, Steve. I'd rather just have the memory. Alice! Gorgeous. Thank you. You know what? I'm beginning to appreciate these liberated ideas of yours. The gal comes to pick up the fella now, huh? I was restless, so I just came on over. Wonderful. To us. To us. 
You have any idea how beautiful you look standing there? I don't feel very beautiful. Well, then I should make you feel beautiful. You can't fault me for finding you irresistible. Matt, we really should go. I mean, if we're going to Tall Boys before the party. But no hurry. A, half an hour till our reservation. B, they'll seat us even if we're late. C, it wouldn't be any tragedy if we didn't go to Tall Boys at all. Matt, this really isn't the time. Well, frankly, my dear, I don't know what is the time and what is not the time to talk to you about my love for you, about our future life together, about how crazy I am to get married to you, Alice. Oh, I know, Matt. It's just that, well, I'm just not feeling 100% tonight. Oh, darling, I'm sorry if you're not feeling well. Listen, we don't even have to go to the party if you don't want to. No, we're expected, and I wouldn't want people to think that. No, we'll go. But I think I want to freshen up first. Well, hello there. Hello. Good evening, Mr. Black. Mackenzie Corey. My fiancée, Alice Frame. Thank you for having us here. I wouldn't have had it any other way. You've done a beautiful job on that room. Will you like it? Do you like it? Yes, it's very nice. Thank you. And I can see you've turned our evening into a gala occasion. Ah, thank you. Well, if you'll excuse us, uh, I think Mac and I will say hello to the rest of the guests. Yes, of course. Well, all right. Nice meeting you. Enjoy yourself. You're rather dismissed, I hope so. I didn't mean to be rude. Could I have your attention, please? Could I have your attention? I have an announcement to make. Jamie, he's going to make the announcement. So what? I'm acting as if you already know what it is. Maybe One I or do. two of you already know what I'm going to say. A lot of people have wondered why I came to Bay City. Why, even if Black Hawk were building something here, why would I choose to come here to live? Why Bay City? Why not New York, Chicago, San Francisco? Why Bay City? Well, it had to be Bay City. Head. Can't any of you guess why? I love this town as much as anyone in this room. A great many things, a great many wonderful things happened to me here long ago, many years ago. My name is not Edward Black. My real name was lost to me for several years, along with many of the events of my past. But now I can tell you that my name is not Edward Black. My name is Stephen. I'm Stephen Frank. Did you hear that? What is yes, it? of course. Well, you knew all this before the party, didn't you? <laughs> you suppose I didn't wait? <laughs> you knew it all along. Why did you tell me? Jamie, he's your father. Name only, in flesh only, but he has him sat at a table for many Thanksgivings. I know this is a rather surprising announcement to make. I hope all of you are sincerely happy about it. I can tell you that I am ecstatic about the thought of, of being back. Among the people I love.
I think I should leave you two alone. Totally. <coughs> that was very kind of Mr. Corey. I see no point in our being left alone together. We're hardly alone. Not here. Would you come into my office for a moment? I don't think so. Thank you. Alice. I know there are things bothering you. I know there are things on your mind. This may all end with you slapping my face, but come with me. Come into my office and ask whatever questions you have. All right. You ask for it. Alice? Where's Mac? We're going to do this. Could we do it? Wow. Wow. Shoot. Aren't you going to say anything? Oh, I think it's up to you to say things. All right. I'll say I love you. I've always loved you. That's rather hard to believe, Stephen. I don't know what the legalities of the situation are, but I'm still your husband. That's all I know. And uh, how long have you known that? For several years now. Indeed. <laughs> oh, that word, indeed. It speaks volumes. It says you don't like me. It says I'm a terrible person. Well, let me tell you something. Spoken by you to me, that word is lie. You like me. I think you love me. At least you're going to love me. You've had your memory for years. You said so. So why didn't you get in touch sooner? When my memory returned, don't think I didn't try to find out what was going on here. You were married. You'd married Ray Gordon. So I don't think either of us should blame the other one. It didn't seem to me then that you were spending your time mourning me. I got divorced from Ray Gordon. You said yourself you knew that. Yes, I knew that. And, and there I was, free. So why didn't you speak up? Why didn't you come back? By that time, I had commitments of my own, Alice. But we're free now. We're free. You and I, both of us. This is a time when we can come together again. We have another chance. We're leaving now, Alice. Can I come in? You know, we still have a lot in common. We both always want what we can't have. 